Hey folks, it's Prime Tom here. Today I'm going to be walking you through a setup of a wireless doorbell. Uh, it's something that I just purchased from Amazon. I had one of these things like 10 years ago, and back then those things were like the size of a freaking juice box. Um, the receiver was huge, the sensor was huge, the range wasn't that good. <clears throat> this one I bought, uh, I got it on Amazon. The company is called Security. This is right here, here's the box. I got it for about $20 Canadian or so on Amazon. Um, it's uh, a very small device. Let me show you what it looks like. So here is the actual receiver. And this is the sensor. You get two sensors, one and two. Okay. And the idea is that you have a uh, magnetic read relay. So this thing is actually magnetized. You can feel it. You can see as I'm pulling it apart, the lights coming on. The idea is that you'd put one in the door or the door jam, and then when somebody opens the door, bada boom, she gets tripped, and it goes off like that. You can see the light just came on like that. So that's how it knows if somebody's opened the door. And then that will then send a signal down to this guy, which is a receiver, which you'd plug it in into your normal 120 volt, uh, 115 volt system. Um, and then that thing will just start you know, sending out a chime to notify you somebody's opened the door. Um, so on the actual receiver itself, you have a couple of buttons. You have this speaker icon, this symbol right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that speaker icon is what controls the volume. And over here is another icon, which is like a little music note. And that controls the sound. So speaker right here. And this icon right here is which controls the actual chime. The chimes, I think there's like, I don't know, I want to say like there's 51 different chimes you can select from. You've got five volumes, including a silent mode. So if you're in a quiet spot and you don't want to hear this chime go off, it just flashes the LED. I'll show you all that in a little bit. Okay, so when you first get it, um, you know, like I said, it comes in this box. It comes with some mounting hardware. You got some screws right there, okay? You have some sticky pads. Uh, the idea is you can have the screw into the door or into the door frame slash jam. <clears throat> and uh, you're off to the races with that. Um, also, when you first get it, just be aware, there's this little tab that's stuck in the back like this. That's stuck in the back like like this, right? The idea is that you want to pull this guy out, and that's what makes contact with the battery, and this thing is ready to rumble, okay? It's armed and ready to go. But before you can start using it, you got to pair it, all right? So I'm going to walk you through all that. Uh, some of the features, uh, again, on this Sokoru is um, just reading off the box. So again, it works off your standard 60 hertz, 50 hertz, uh, 120 to 240 volts, uh, so basically work anywhere in the world. You have five levels of audio volumes, which we kind of talked about, and I'll show you a couple of those when we go to set it up. Uh, wireless range of 400 feet, which is pretty pretty good. Like I said, the one I bought 10 years ago didn't have a range like that. You could have the receiver down the basement, and your sensor could be front door, back door, window, what have you, and you're ready to go. Um, Again, it takes a regular uh, battery. Um, looks like a double AA, A, triple A battery. Uh, the transmission frequency looks like it's 433 megahertz, which is not going to really interfere with much. You know, most of your wireless devices in your house are running in the gigahertz Wi-Fi and whatnot, so I don't think you need to worry about that. And again, the range is, like I said, it's um, 400 feet, or you're looking at about uh, 100 meters. Okay. So that's the guy. All right, let me switch over to the setup and I can walk you guys through that. You, uh, now you want to clear the memory to go program it for um, pairing uh, different tones. So if you want to have one chime for the back door and one chime for the front door, <clears throat> this is how you do it. So again, to clear the memory, you want to hold down the speaker icon right here, all right? Um, plug it in. So you heard 10 pulses, then 
just a string of pulses. This means it's ready to accept programming. <coughs> so what you want to do now is you want to find the tone you want. Say I, I want to go the traditional. So say I want to program this guy for the front door. Nice traditional door chime. What you want to do is you want to hold these two buttons down. I Means she's ready. And you want to separate these guys. It beeps twice. That means it's in programming mode. <laughs> so what you want to do now, you want to be able to say accept the program. Well, first you want to say program. It beeps once then break contact again which means accept the program and this means exit okay so now it's programmed with that chime for this particular sensor okay so <coughs> what you want to do next now is you know program the second chime so you can hear the first chime has got a traditional sound Now I want to program this guy with a different sound. So what you want to do, um, hold these, both these guys uh, down. First you want to find the chime you want. sensor you gotta hold both these buttons down okay means she's in program mode you're gonna break contact once beeps twice you want to say I like that then you want to say I confirm that's it she's programmed so now if I hit here, she's programmed. So now, one time for the back door. One time for the front door. Okay, so that's how you program individual chimes for each sensor. So back door. Then declare the memory, plug it in. Ten beeps and the fast pulse. Means she's ready to accept programming now. <clears throat> so I want to be able to pair these guys. So first thing I want to do is pair the first guy. Got a long press it. Okay, so now she's ready. It's going to beep twice. Beep once. I like it. It's paired. Accept. Next one. I want to pair it. So beep twice. Beep once. Confirm. For the second beep. Accept. So now.
each sensor has the exact same chime. So you can put one on your front door and one on your back door, they have the same chimes. Now, this is where you can program the volume um, when they're the same. So you want to go in here. So I want to make it nice and soft. Nice and soft. Low volume. So the front door and the back door now is very low volume. If I want to put it in silent mode, you got to go one pass of silent. So cycle it again. Volume up. There. Now silent mode. So if you're in a quiet space, you don't want the alarm to make a sound, you can put it in quiet mode and away you go. Alright, so front and back both have the same chimes. Uh, it's in silent mode. If I want to turn the volume up, I hit it once. Now, she chimes. chimes okay so there you can see how you can program for different volumes um, different uh, tones chimes and I could pair them individually but before you do that you have to go and clear the memory of the receiver to accept the new programming for each sensor other than that have a good one